Hey guys, Josh here from Mixing Mango, and wow, we actually have a really good update today. So it's the Harbingers of Tusker, I think that's how you say it, and these are level 92 Slayer monsters that drop the new level 90 melee power gloves. So this actually looks really cool. One of the main things about this boss actually is it utilizes the EOC a lot more. So this is one thing I've actually been wanting is, uh, if I can actually find it, it does different attacks, it's like I think it uses all three attack styles. Also, it has a special which can only be blocked by using flurry or rapid fire, or I think it stuns it if you use it. So it's like, it's actually kind of make, gives a use to abilities now, um, more so than ever. As in like, if the monster does this attack you have to use a certain ability and hopefully they can sort of branch this out to new monsters and make it so they're sort of like, almost like set pieces in a way where you have to use abilities in a certain order or like when it's doing an attack you've got to use this ability so it's really nice to see they are actually like trying this kind of thing out um, and it'll just make it a really interesting fight because if you don't use it then you'll be hit for quite a lot Jagex, they, it doesn't really make much sense, it said you'll need at least a level a combat level 150 which implies level 75 stats, yeah apparently you'll need level 90 gear so I'm not really sh quite sure how that works out, they said it needs to be high level and obviously 150 isn't high level like in any way so I guess that's just a typo or something like that but it is going to be, it looks like it's going to be very high level so that's pretty awesome. A um, couple of other things, so firstly the Premier Club is back and Solomon Retro Armors so they've brought back Dragon and Infinity so hopefully they roll these out over time uh, like all like all of the rest of them but it's really nice that they're actually making a start f uh, to this the final thing before I actually test out the updates uh, see what it's like is just a few things so the festival is now out if you didn't know XP rates increase at, uh, at the Citadel this is gonna help a lot um, definitely gonna make capping a lot more worthwhile summoning familiars have been overhauled the stats of them which hopefully it means like steel titan isn't going to spec itself and like just max a 100 hopefully like like titans or the combat familiars will actually be like useful again um so that'll be really cool and they've sort of changed the way summoning works so you can now combine like all your ingredients anywhere to make uncharged pouches and then you take these pouches to the obelisk as normal to get your xp and you can also get these spirit gems and these can store the uncharged pouches, so sort of like how rune crafting pouches work and it just makes uh, training something a bit more efficient. Um, so that's basically all the updates, I'm going to just test it out now and see what it's like. So there are two places to kill the air route, I think that's how you say it. The first one is Kirill's dungeon and in order to kill them in here you need to have them on a slayer task. So this place is normally pretty empty and especially because at the moment not many people have them as, as a slayer task so this is probably the best place to kill them the other place is near Piscatorus and that is you can kill them even if you're not in a slayer task you can just camp them for the gloves if you want and the quickest way to get to both of these is or one of the ways is via the fairy ring there are quicker ways like uh, the ferocious ring and other ways to get there as well So now a bit about actually killing the monsters, so they are level 175, the rest of the combat information about them is on screen now, so they are fairly high level though, um, and they are 92 slayer, so again that's quite a high level, but then they do drop the new level 90 gloves, so that is kind of expected. The unique thing about these monsters though is they have two special attacks and they're either used in the mage, oh sorry, one's used in the melee form, one's used in the, in the range form. They both essentially are the same thing. The melee one is a variation of flurry and the range one is a variation of rapid fire. So the way to stop these attacks is while it's charging it or while it's using it, you use that corresponding ability. So if it's using the flurry attack in its melee form, then you, if you use flurry, you'll then stun it and break that attack, same with rapid fire it does the same thing so there are a way to block this attack if you don't in I was using malevolent and I didn't really get hit by the combo so you don't really have to break it but in lower level armor then it probably is a good idea um, you probably will get hit a fair bit if you don't try and stop this special 
the drops are fairly decent. They drop the air root bones, which give 132.5 prayer XP if you bury them, so that's quite a bit. There's also the Tuscal mask pieces, which give combat XP, and I think it's around 50k in any of the combat styles and around 10k slayer if you go that route so it is a fairly nice chunk of xp and also there are the razorback gloves which or razorback gauntlets which are level 90 power melee gloves so these work in the same way as all the other level 90 equipments they do degrade to dust but they last about 60k charges i think it is so it is a fairly long time and obviously you'll get the sort of the the damage boost up from Torva plus more defense, so they might be worth using. And I think the price at the moment is about 8.5 mil. So if they get any lower, then they will be fairly affordable considering they do degrade to nothing. So that was the main part of the update, but the side part was actually a summoning update, which is really useful. So the first one is actually changing the way you train summoning, and basically now you can actually combine all the ingredients for your pouch anywhere in runescape if you've got it in your invent you then combine these to a uncharged version of the pouch which you then take to the obelisk to then make it a charged version so i guess it might be slightly longer just because it's like it's kind of more clicks you make it uncharged then you charge it um but it just means you can sort of store a lot of pouches in your bank uncharged and then just do them all at once I guess uh, so, like you might want to do it that way the other thing is there are now these new spirit uh, rubies and emeralds I think and there's one more which actually store these uncharged pouches so they act like sort of rune crafting pouches you can store these uncharged pouches in them and then if you use it on the obelisk it then turns them all into charged pouches gives you the XP and notes them so it gives you faster XP uh, than before, I guess, and that could be really helpful if you do want to train summoning, um, since it is it's probably one of the hardest 99s, which is why I like the cape so much, and just 99 in general. Um, so I guess you could say this devalues it a bit, but then these are untradeable, plus they only hold, I think, like 15 max, so it's not even, it doesn't really affect it that much, but it will speed up your XP slightly if you do have these. So, in my opinion, this has been one of the best updates in a while, the last one being the Rise of the Six. Um, there really hasn't been anything that good in the past month, but I think this definitely makes up for it. Level 92 Slayer Monster, it's got some pretty decent drops, and the gloves, they are a bit on the cheap side, but they do degrade to dust, and they are just gloves in the end, so they don't really affect your combat that much. Um, so I guess the price does reflect that. And it, even so, it's like, if you do get them, it's a nice, like, fifth, like probably it will go down to about 5 mil to add your Slayer task, but at the moment it's about 8. So it's still, um, it's a nice chunk of money, because it's not really supposed to be camped as it is a Slayer monster, so it's more like, if you get them on, the t on a task, then it's just a nice bit of money right there. Um, and the summoning as well, along with the whole pouch update, they did actually buff the summon, uh, summoning familiar, so... That helps a lot. Steel Titan probably could do for a bit more of a buff, but you can definitely see a damage increase and they increase the accuracy as well. But I think the accuracy should be increased even further because you do miss a fair bit, especially on bosses, but even on these aerotiles missing a bit as well. So if they could buff the combat familiars even more, that would be great. But I mean, at the moment, it's a good start. At least the Steel Titan is not specking itself out anymore and it actually does do some damage now, which is really nice to see. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this sort of different style of a game update that I try to do and I will see you later.